The Miracle of Mercy David and Saul This is David. Hey! David was a shepherd who lived in Israel. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a boy. But David had to wait a very long time until that promise would come true because there was another king of Israel named Saul. Saul was strong and tall and looked like everything a king should be. But Saul did not follow God like he was supposed to. And for that reason, God chose to take the kingdom from Saul's family and give it to David's. David became a great warrior. Arr! And everyone in the kingdom loved David. Huh? This made Saul jealous, and Saul hated David because he thought he would try to kill him and take the throne from his family. So Saul wanted to kill David. Whoa! Saul hunted David, but he couldn't catch him. One day, Saul heard that David was in the wilderness of En Gedi. So Saul gathered 3,000 of his skilled fighters and went to find and kill David. During Saul's search for David, he went in a cave to relieve himself. Well, this very cave was the one where David and his men were hiding. And when David's men saw that Saul was unaware that David was there and unable to defend himself, they said, Now's your chance, David. This is God telling you that he will give you your enemy to do with as you wish. So David crept forward and cut off a piece of Saul's robe. But then David began to think that it was not right for him to take Saul's life. For no matter how much hardship and difficulty Saul had caused him, it was still not right for him to hurt the one who God had placed over Israel. So David told his men to back off, and he did not let them kill King Saul. They waited until after Saul had left the cave. And then David ran out of the cave and shouted after Saul, My king! Why do you listen to people who say I am trying to harm you? Look, I cut it off, but I didn't kill you. This proves that I am not trying to harm you and that I have not sinned against you, even though you've been hunting me. David went on to promise that he would never harm Saul. David said that God would be the one to protect David and to rescue him from Saul's power. Saul said, Is that really you, David? And he began to cry. Saul said, you are a better man than I. You have been amazingly kind to me today, for when God put me in a place where you could have killed me, you didn't do it. Who else would have done this? And now I realize that you are surely going to be king, and the kingdom of Israel will flourish under your rule. But promise me that when that happens, you will not kill my family. So David promised that he would not hurt Saul's family, and they left each other in peace. Now Saul continued to cause difficulty in David's life. But David kept his promise and in time, David did become king of Israel. David was dearly loved by God and Israel did flourish under his rule because David did everything that God wanted him to do and he was a man after God's own heart. Respect. Searching the web for the word respect. Now playing top result. David was in King Saul's army, and Saul thought of David as a son. He was a great leader in the army, and because of that, other people started to notice. One day, King Saul heard about how much the people respected David and how they thought he was a great leader. This made King Saul very jealous. People were supposed to respect him as leader, not David. Saul let his jealousy get the best of him. It made him so angry that he tried to kill David, not once, but twice. The good news is Saul wasn't able to kill David. David didn't fight back with Saul, 
Instead, he showed respect and decided it was better to leave. So David went and hid in a cave. God saw David was hiding and told David that he wasn't safe where he was and needed to go to the land of Judah. God also told David that he would keep him safe and that Saul wouldn't harm him. David listened to God and left the cave and went to Judah. But David's family and friends heard where David had gone, so they followed him. They knew that God would take care of David because he was a man after God's heart. King Saul had heard that David and his people were in Judah. This made him even more upset, so Saul followed them there. While they were looking for David, King Saul needed to use the bathroom. Saul found a cave and went inside. This was the very cave that David and his men were hiding in. While Saul was busy, David snuck up behind him and chopped off a corner of his robe. This was David's chance. If he ever wanted to get rid of King Saul, now was the time. But he knew that killing Saul was not right. God had chosen Saul to be the king for the time being. No matter what, David needed to respect God's decision. David also knew that cutting Saul's robe was the wrong thing to do. So he called to Saul and said, Saul, when you were using the bathroom, I cut off a piece of your robe. I could have killed you and my men knew it too, but I didn't. God has chosen you to be the king in this time, so I'm not going to take that from you. When David finished speaking, Saul said to him, you are a better person than I am. You have treated me well, but I have treated you badly. Saul realized that David had spared his life that day. David made the right choice and showed respect by being kind to Saul, even when Saul wasn't kind in return. That's because a heart after God respects others. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love him. I just want to lift my heart in Play it, boys. Uh huh. Here we go. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. So you might think you're strong and tall, or you might think you're weak and small. Makes no difference anyway, because this is. The Bible says Man looks on the outside but God looks on the heart Man looks on the outside but God looks on the heart Come on man looks on the outside but God looks on the heart Man looks on the outside but God looks on the heart So if you're scared you can't go on, ask God to come He'll make you strong
strong, it doesn't matter how you feel, it's what's inside that counts for real. Sing it now, man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside, but God looks on the heart. Yeah. Smoke All right, everybody. I need your help here now. Just remind me, one more time, what's this song all about? Man looks on the outside. Man looks on the outside.